We are gonna start this project today by cutting out a skull. You're gonna need a white piece of paper, fold it in half, press down in the middle and towards the edges. You're gonna need a pencil. We're gonna start by drawing a large oval shape. It should go three fourths of the way down your paper. Then for the jaw of our skull, we're gonna draw a rectangle shape. It can go all the way to the bottom, but it does not have to. Make sure the bottom of it is rounded. Find the center of your paper, and you're going to draw an upside down half of a heart. When we cut it out, it will become a full heart. That is for the nose. You're gonna draw an oval for the eye, and then in that jaw space is where we're gonna make the mouth opening. Make sure it's at least a finger or two away from the edge. You may then go in and draw your teeth. Careful that your teeth do not touch that center fold line. I'm now gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna press hard and go over the outside shapes. Those are the spaces I'm going to cut with my scissors. This will just help me so I don't mess up. Now you can grab your pair of scissors and you'll be ready to cut it out. Don't forget to write your name on this side of your skull, your name and your class code. Circle it. Now we can cut out. Remember your thumbs are up, your fingers are in. If you can't fit all of them, that's totally fine. I never can. Now. Before you actually cut, make sure the fold is in the middle. Otherwise, it's not gonna work and you're gonna have to start all over again. And I'll show you that in a second. But you're gonna cut all the way around. Make sure that bottom part is rounded. Now, I'm going to carefully go around my mouth around each tooth. Turn your paper as you cut. Your scissors should always be going away from you. Now when I go to do the eye, don't poke or jab, not with your scissors, not with a pencil. Just fold your paper and give it a little chomp. Then you can wiggle your scissors inside and then cut around. Now you open it up and there you have your skull. Watch what happens if I don't do it on the fold. So I draw my skull just like I was told every little piece. And then I'm like, okay, I'm totally ready. And I go and cut, chomp, chomp, chomp. And then when I finish and I open it up, well, those are connected. And then I have two halves of a skull. Meh. I could glue them together to salvage, but we'll see. Here's another way. This time I wanted to have a smiling skull so you can do yours however you want.